You know, there's a lot of great places to eat on Carnival Panorama for free. You don't have to pay anything extra. But if you want something a little different, a little special, there's lots of great alternate specialty dining venues. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. First up is one of our all-time favorite places on Carnival ships, and that's Bonsai Sushi. We have enjoyed this on Carnival Vista, and it's just become one of our go-to places when we're just a little bit hungry. We don't really want to get dressed up. It's kind of a fast, casual restaurant with lots of seating, seating for two, or you can even sit at the sushi bar if you're just eating by yourself or you just want a little bit different experience. Now what's unique is they give you a menu on a pad of paper. You basically just scratch off or fill in what you want to order and then the waitress will come by and take your order. Now this is an a la carte menu so you can order as little or as much as you want and the prices are very reasonable. This eight piece spicy tuna roll is only five dollars and it was delicious. Each order is made by hand by the sushi chefs and they do a really great job. In fact you get to see all of the fresh fish lined up at the sushi bar. Try an authentic Japanese beer with your meal. You won't regret it. And a great way to start your meal is with an edamame appetizer. It's only $2 and it's enough for two people to share. The shrimp tempura is delicious. It's very lightly battered and deep fried to perfection. And if you want to try something a little different, get one of the noodle bowls. These are really rich and uh, hearty and delicious and they come with different meats you can get them with eggs as Ricky's doing here they're really good and they're very inexpensive only seven dollars now for a great meal with entertainment go right next door to Bonsai Teppanyaki this is a new concept on only a couple of carnival ships and we absolutely loved it don't let the menu intimidate you you're going to get a ton of food trust me it's more than you'll be able to finish now chef ronaldo uh, gave us great meal great entertainment during the uh, the whole evening here you can see him cutting up some chicken and shrimp and making fried rice and we just we never have eaten so much food at a teppanyaki restaurant in our life and it was all delicious on our cruise it was 32 dollars per person to eat here in the evening and it was well worth it just the show alone was worth it and at the end of the meal you get this bento box filled with all different kinds of desserts as if you'd have enough room to finish it and it was really just an amazing meal and an amazing experience but make sure you make reservations this thing fills up very very fast Another popular restaurant is the Pig and Anchor Barbecue in the Brew House down on Deck 4. Now, we didn't have a chance to try this on our cruise, but we heard great things from other guests. Dining here is free at lunchtime. You can get barbecue for lunch. But at dinner, they have uh, some different things on the menu, and we just heard wonderful things about it. We just had so many different places to eat, we didn't get a chance to try it, but we certainly will on our next Carnival Cruise. If you're looking for a more romantic, quiet, intimate dinner alone, check out Cucina del Capitano on deck 11 aft. This is a real Italian little bistro with the uh, red and white tablecloths, just like you remember. And a uh, very nice menu with a lot of different pastas. And they're homemade pastas and some very interesting dishes. I love the meatball appetizer. Uh, we always get a bottle of Riuniti wine, just as kind of traditional. And uh, really a nice place to sit and enjoy a quiet meal, very reasonably priced. Check out Cucina del Capitano. Now, if you want to combine a really delicious dinner along with checking out your culinary skills, check out the new concept on Carnival, Carnival Kitchen. Here, you're going to get a chance to cook 
with Carnival's Chefs, where they show you step by step how to create some of their masterpieces. Now, there's a lot of different ethnic options. We chose one of the Asian, uh, kind of an Indonesian option, where we got a chance to make a lot of different dishes. I think we made uh, three or four different appetizer dishes. You can see everything's laid out for you. They've got workstations with cooktops, uh, cutlery, all of your pans, all of the meats and vegetables and things that you're going to need and spices. And then the chef is showing you from the front of the room everything you need to do and a chef is walking around to kind of help you if you need help it's really a lot of fun and you actually learn something now once you've prepared your appetizers uh, you get a chance to eat them and then afterward you sit down at this long table I think they're limited to 14 or 16 people and then the chefs bring you the meals that you just prepared the way they prepare them, along with some other dishes. And it really was a delicious meal. Once again, these fill up very fast, so make your reservations in advance. And the prices will vary depending on which type of meal you select. The ultimate dining experience on any carnival ship is the chef's table. Now, this starts out by meeting in the lobby, and then the small group is led back through the dining room into uh, the ship's main galley. As we make our way through the galley, we get to see a little bit of the behind-the-scenes action because they are in a meal service right now, and we end up at one of these large square prep tables uh, with name tags for each of us. Uh, a small little electromagnetic block is sitting there, and waitresses are circulating around. The champagne is flowing, so we're all getting to enjoy a nice little cocktail as the chef gets ready to prepare a few starters. Now one of our challenges is to get this little white octagon to hover over that electromagnet. It's really kind of cool. It was kind of challenging and a, a lot of fun. Just a kind of a warm-up exercise. Next one of the sous chefs begins showing us some techniques they use to create some very interesting and very creative little amuse-bouche tastings. He's using kind of a cold plate here to pour on some uh, coconut and vanilla cream. It was just a really delicious little single bite he was creating. Uh, had some real interesting textures to it. Now we were each given three or four of these little amuse-bouche single bite tastings. They were all just delicious. They were really, really creative and interesting. And then we were led into the dining room, which is right off of the galley. So we can actually see through a window what's going on out in the galley. And we're presented with this 11-course menu. You don't have to order. You're going to get one of everything in the chef's table. And it's a lot of food. It starts out with this delicious, crusty, uh, flaky bread and a couple of different homemade butters. And then, of course, the wine is flowing. You have a choice of red or white wine. Both were delicious. And uh, the meal begins with a lot of presentations by the sous chef. The first dish to arrive gave us a hint of things to come. This is a beautiful uh, sabillon of peach and parsley basically inside of this rosemary bubble. And when you pour the liquid on top or you touch it with your fork, it just kind of uh, bursts into this little smoking uh, just soup. It's a little bowl of cold peach and strawberry soup that was really good but just showed a tremendous amount of technique and then we got to see the roasted duck which was our second course and it too was delicious uh, coated in a bunch of African spices with some more real creative plating of course we can watch what's going on out in the galley and then we had this stacking box of different uh, again different little tastings and as they unstack each one there's multiple options items each one just incredibly creative and incredibly beautiful the way this was all plated and each one was really delicious there was even a small vegetarian course that was equally good and the 
sea bass was to die for. It was probably the best any of us had ever eaten. And then came the lamb course with some crispy lamb neck and some beautiful lamb loin, perfectly cooked. And just again, just incredible plating. Uh, we've been at the chef's table on four different cruise lines. And I've got to tell you, the, the level of sophistication and technique in these dishes on Carnival uh, probably exceeded any chef's table we've experienced on any other cruise line. In our opinion, the chef's table is well worth the $95 per person. You won't find a dining experience like this anywhere else in the world for this kind of price. It was really fascinating and something that everybody should consider. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the specialty dining aboard Carnival Panorama. As you can imagine, we were quite impressed with the quality of the food and the service from the staff. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click our subscribe button and click that little bell icon if you want YouTube to notify you when we come out with new videos. Bon voyage and bon appetit. Yeah, yeah.